Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Keeping Goals. Thank you for tuning in. In today's episode, we are going to show you behind the scenes of a game day. How we prepare, what I take, what my warm-up's like, and then the game itself. Hello mate. You want to join the name of Madonna? You know this week's episode's all about pre-match routine. <laughs> I'm just showing everyone what the real pre-match routine is. Washing up your pasta and singing Madonna. It's the chorus. All together now. Mm -hmm. My prep for a game day normally begins the day before. We'll have training at some point during the day, we'll go through match routine, shape, set pieces, particular things we want to work on in order to perform well in that game. We'll be told the team, and by that point I'll know whether I'm playing, whether I'm on the bench, whether I'm not part of the squad, and I can start to mentally prepare myself for the game tomorrow. So I'll start to think about the threats that the other team will possess, I'll start to think about the attributes that I have, that the team has, what I can use in order to win the game. I'll start to visualize certain aspects of the game, what I need to concentrate on, what I can be effective with. And from that point, I'm in game mode. The night before will be quite chilled. I'll relax with the house. I won't do very much. I'll have a nice carbohydrate dinner. I'll just mentally prepare myself for the game and get in the right frame of mind. In the morning, I'll wake up again, a strong breakfast, something like porridge, like Fran said with a banana and all those kind of things. And the morning is quite chilled. I'll relax, I'll take it easy. If it's in the evening, this will be the same in the afternoon. I'll just relax, get ready for the game, get my mental state right in order to perform. And then from there, I'll start to pack my kit bag. And so we will now show you what I take to the games. So in terms of game prep, one of the most important things is obviously what I take to a game in my kit bag. What am I going to bring with me? What do I need? So let me show you. And the most important thing, the tools, the gloves. I can't forget these, otherwise I won't be able to do my job. Next, hydration. We're lucky enough to be sponsored by a particular brand, which gives us the nice bottles and the shakers. This is for protein after games. As Fran said, we can roll the clip. That's very important. So yeah, definitely recommend the shake after training but also water, hydration before games, all those kind of things. So I've got to bring these. Not so interesting, towel, pants, socks. Got to stay clean afterwards. In terms of in the game, I need a warm up top supplied by Loughborough Football. So we all warm up in the same gear. In case it rains, I need a towel by my goal. So if there's lots of excess water on the pitch, I need to dry my gloves. Some keepers like their gloves very wet, some like them dry. I like to have a towel there just in case it gets sopping wet. These ones are looking a bit old and tatty, but you need to take shin pads because it's in the rules and you don't want to break your leg. So I like to get as big shin pads as I possibly can. People wear small, tiny ones, not for me. Get the big ones, protect your legs, go in hard. Next, flip-flops. Wear flip-flops in the shower. If you're one of those guys that don't, then please wear flip-flops in the shower. Next we have Underlayers. So I take probably two underlayers for my top half, two underlayers for my bottom half. This one is one of them is long sleeve, one of them short sleeve. Depends how I feel, depends how cold it is, but I normally wear short sleeve underlayers. And then undershorts. I have padded undershorts in case ground's hard or normal undershorts, but it's up to you, personal preference. I like to take both just so I can pick and choose how I feel on the night. And finally, probably the second. No, the most important thing, the boots. I make sure I have a pair of moulds, plastic moulds, and a pair of studs. For me personally, I always wear studs, unless it's on AstroTurf and I have to wear moulds, but studs, 99 times out of 100. 
It makes me feel more secure, I can go in hard, I feel protected, and I feel I've got proper grip. As a goalkeeper, there is nothing worse than slipping when you're going for a dive or moving your feet and having something that isn't in your control to blame for a goal going in. Short moulds sometimes slip on grass, especially if it's wet, so for safety, I go studs. So that's it for my kit bag. We're off to the game this evening, Johnny's gonna come, and I think the housemates are gonna come and watch as well. Home game, in the league, same as always. Preparation, get mentally focused, get ready, go out and show what I can do. That's the plan. So, I'll leave you in Johnny's capable hands. Speaking of 99 times out of 100, isn't it your 100th cap tonight, Con, for Love for Sport? Maybe. <laughs> I wasn't going to mention it, but yeah, it is. Tonight is my 100th game for Loughborough University first team, so it has been an honour and a privilege to represent this university, especially this university, 100 times. For everything they've done for me and for the opportunities they've given me, it is a small return on what I've received. So, whether it's your 100th game, first game, 50th game, you prepare in the same way, you get focused, you go out, you do your job to the best of your ability. So, I will go and I will show what I can do just as I did 99 times before.
goal. Best game, yeah. We just love scoring three goals off. Make sure they go. Hey, that's clear. Three points. Shin pads are very important in case you get a tackle by a really big man like him. 